Okay, so I'm gonna show you my little home built AM transmitter. Uh, it's a one tube transmitter. It, it transmits on AM. And uh, first, I'm gonna open it up so you can check out how simple it is inside. I already removed all the screws. Just take off the lid. And you can see all the insides already. I built this about a year ago. Let me pick up the camera. Uh, inside you can see the one tube that it uses, the variable capacitor. Uh, on this side is the power supply and the two filters, two capacitor filters. Um, I built a small chassis for the tube socket out of a I think it was the screen for a speaker on a signal tracer or something like that. On the front there's two switches. Uh, the reason there's two of them is because one controls the main and the other one uh, turns on the filament power supply which is separate. Over here you can kind of see the the uh, oscillator power supply. And I really need to rebuild this because um, I, I really leave, left these uh, leads really long and it's not w working very clearly it kind of makes a lot of interference and stuff so I should rebuild it and I, and I also have a few bad solder joints somewhere in there so I'm going to try this out first I'm going to plug this in And I'm going to turn the power. And first, I have to leave it warm up. I gotta wait till the tube warms up, till I can actually do anything. Over here, I'm gonna be using. This is the radio I'm gonna be using to receive. I'm gonna warm it up too. It's already tuned to that station. Now the problem is that ever since I built this, there's now a new radio station right next to that frequency so it's a big huge professional uh, radio station versus my little homebrew so you can guess who wins ok so that's one about now I'm going to start the music on my computer which is hooked up to the transmitter you can kind of hear it already but first I have to fine tune the variable capacitor and you should be able to hear it as it starts getting strong let me turn this volume up that other radio station you hear is the one that moved in you can hear as I tune out that the music fades out and as I go back in, it starts playing back again. That's a pretty good spot. The audio quality isn't really that good. But whatever. Okay, now I'm going to try and tune it on this other stereo. I already have it set to that station. You should be able to pick it up, but maybe it'll sound a little bit distorted or something. It's not picking it up as good. And that's pretty much it.
the reason I built this was because uh, I collect antique radios and uh, what collectors like to do is play their music on their old radios and this is a great way to do it. Thanks for watching.